We have an NFC South matchup as New Orleans Saints take on the Carolina Panthers in Carolina. This is your week two 2023 prediction and preview. Let's start with the home team, the Carolina Panthers. Last week was a bad watch at times to just go out and see Bryce Young struggle at times offensively. The offense did take a step back. They had two turnovers, and they didn't look in sync. The offensive line did play better as the game progressed, but Bryce Young was too tentative in the pocket, and the Atlanta Falcons just went down. They just cut the field off. For passes between 15 and 20 yards down the field, Bryce Young cannot connect those passes. The wide receivers not getting open fast enough, and the offensive line was breaking down. So they tried to run the football, and it just didn't work out in their favor. They lost the turnover battle, and it made the Falcons go out there and run the football at a high clip. In this game against the Saints, you have to find a way to get the pass game going, whether it's the short game to get the ball out quick and then mix in some run as well. This is one of the rare situations that I'm going to say the Panthers have to come out, run a lot of things behind the line of scrimmage. And the reason I say that, they have done a number of New Orleans Saints in the past. With guys like LaVisca Chenault getting some screen passes to go to the house. Guys in the past are no longer with this team, but they can still lose with some of their wide receivers. And DJ Moore, they'll take a screen or a slant and they'll just they'll take it for a big game. Try to use the aggressive nature of the New Orleans Saints against them with their defense. Try to go out and help Bryce Young as much as possible by getting him on the move inside and outside the pocket do some play action bootlegs do whatever you need to do to make sure Bryce Young is not a sitting duck in that pocket because you're going against a front that made Ryan Tannehill's life and game plan hard last week they got three interceptions off of Ryan Tannehill last week and the Tennessee Titans that's a veteran quarterback with one of the best running backs in the game they isolated and they stopped the run you have to come out and you have to be patient with the run game and you cannot give up on the run game they also sack Ryan Tannehill three times as well so these guys from tackle to tackle are gonna have to come out and play aggressive but the biggest thing is take care of the football and try to take some pressure off of Bryce Young as much as possible when I look at the defense defense of the Carolina Panthers this is their type of game but they're going to be without their best corner in JC Horn he's going to miss the next couple of weeks dealing with a hamstring injury and I am concerned about that because you do still have Dante Jackson who is a very good corner but you have CJ Henderson who is now your number two corner in this team so you have to find some way to go out there and get a lot of pass rush up front whether that's going out and blitzing guys more or just getting more pass rush with guys like Brian Burns, Derek Brown. They did a great job against the Atlanta Falcons front. We talked about the pass protection. They got four sacks on Desmond Ritter and they can go out and they get they can get some sacks on the New Orleans Saints. Go out and see what Trevor Penning is made of. Trevor Penning struggled early on in that Tennessee Titans game. As the game progressed, he got better, but go out and target him. Try to make him go out and be more aggressive try to make him get upset he is known in the past to get a lot of penalties when he was in college try to frustrate him and try to run some blisses on his side try to get pressure on Derek Carr because eventually what's going to happen in the Saints game plan they're going to target CJ Henderson CJ Henderson is not a good cover corner and you do not want that to get exposed early in this game especially with guys like Michael Thomas and Chris Olave on that offense so go out try to get as much pressure as possible with your original front four to four front five guys if you can't do that bring in some blisters sneak it in and then try to go in and make sure that Derek Carr does not have time in the pocket because one thing about Derek Carr when he gets pressure around him that's when those turnovers start to happen. That's when Derek Carr starts to sweat a little bit, and that's when he gets reckless with the football. Didn't happen too much last game, but he is known to do that in his career before when he was with the Raiders franchise. Now, let's talk about the New Orleans Saints. This is a team that's coming off a good victory against the Tennessee Titans. They won by one point, but it was a good defensive outing for that team. They stopped the run, and they made Ryan Tannehill be indecisive at times. The biggest thing that the Saints defense needs to do is to come out and cut off the field and make Bryce Young struggle seeing the field. I'm not saying that because he is an undersized quarterback. What I mean is go up and get aggressive with these wide receivers. This is a very good aggressive defense of the New Orleans Saints, but you have to be careful. Like I mentioned before with the Carolina Panthers, they're going to try to do things behind the line of scrimmage. Have to stay disciplined. You don't want to just go all out and get too carried away with the line of scrimmage stuff when you talk about just running press coverage for the entire game. You're going to have guys like Marshawn Lattimore and Marcus May that can hold their own. What I'm looking at right here is what Tyree Matthews is going to do. Because last week, Bryce Young had two interceptions 
over the middle of the field to Jesse Bates. So expect Tyron Matthew to do some similar things and expect for them to try to use him in a similar way. But get physical with these wide receivers, especially if DJ Chark is not able to go in this game for the Carolina Panthers. That's their one guy that could take the top off the defense. The rest of the guys on this team at that wide receiving core, they're going to struggle getting open deep down the field. And I'm talking about guys like Adam Thielen, Jonathan Mingo, and LaVisca Chanel. If you can go up and press those guys and make it hard and try to make Bryce Young force to throw the ball into those windows, that snap pass rush should be able to get home with Demario Davis if you want to blitz him, and especially with Cameron Jordan. You know those guys are going to be licking their chops to face a rookie quarterback in Bryce Young that is still learning. Another thing offensively, their key to victory for the Saints is to try to get the run game going better. Last week, it was a bit of a struggle at times to run the football with Jamal Williams, but they did enough to go out and get the win against the Tennessee Titans. Jamal Williams had 18 carries for 45 yards. That's two and a half yards a carry. And he also fumbled in that game. So you're going to have to find a way to be more careful with the ball offensively. Do not turn the football over. Derek Carr did a good job of that. He only had one interception. Let's scale it back to not having any interceptions and get the ball to your playmakers to guys like Michael Thomas and Chris Olave. Get Chris Olave going early in this game. Michael Thomas had a good report going into halftime with Derek Carr. Then Chris Olave came in the back end to finish it off with eight catches 112 yards but zero receiving touchdowns but you have to go out utilize your tight end and Jawan Johnson as well and be patient offensively Derek Carr and the Saints can win this game if they don't turn the football over and let the Panthers go out and try to figure out their offense because it is a work in progress with that Panthers offense with that being said this is going to be a close game the Panthers and Saints have always had some close matchups usually the Panthers come out and get the best of them but right now you're dealing with a brand new coaching staff Bryce Young is still Learning. I expect for Bryce Young to be better in this game, but I also expect for the Saints to come out and be very aggressive. This game is in Carolina, so the Carolina Panthers can, could come out and win this game. I have the New Orleans Saints winning this game 23-20. to I had them win this game by a field goal. They have a lot of good veterans. Their run game may not be particularly they're just shit without Alvin Kamara, but I believe they have enough defensive pieces to go out and fool the rookie quarterback of Bryce Young. But the Panthers can win this game. They take care of the turnover battle and just go down there and just try to make Bryce Young's life easier. But I think the New Orleans Saints will win this game. Let me know in the comment section who do you have winning this game, the New Orleans Saints or the Carolina Panthers. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the like button. Most importantly, each and every last one, guys, stay safe, stay positive. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Peace.